I'm here with David Benavidez. What's going on with you, man? Just right here, man. Just getting back from a day of work. You know, I just got, got some good training in, but you no, know, everything is going great. You know, we just got this fight with Caleb Plant. We signed it. You know, we're still looking for the date, but you know, this is a fight I wanted. This is a fight he's wanted. It's a fight that a lot of fans have wanted. So I'm really excited. Yeah, man. You know, it's funny because I was talking to you like not that long ago. And, you know, you had the Uskati thing going on, and then you was hoping next year would be like the year for like Caleb Plant, Morel, all of these guys. So, you know, how exciting is it where you're just like, yo, I've been wanting to fight this dude for so long, man. And now you finally got it. You know, I'm, I'm very excited and very happy. We're, we're working, when I talk to you, we're working behind the scenes trying to make that fight happen. But I don't want to say anything, you know, just in case it didn't happen. You know, I don't want to make it seem like I was trying to promote something that wasn't going to happen. But so that's why I stay quiet. But, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, we got our, we got our, we got our prayers answered, you know, basically, you know, it's going to be a great fight. And I feel like not only for, it's a great fight for me, but it's a great fight for the sport of boxing, you know, because the fight with Earl, Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fell off and, you know, kind of feel like it's the same thing with Ryan Garcia. Uh, with, yeah, with Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis. So finally we get to, we don't know if those fights are going to happen anytime soon, but finally we get to, this fight could happen and we could give it to them, uh, give it to the fans, you know, it's something that they wanted to see. So, you know, I'm very excited. You know, it, it's not really too often where, you know, like a guy would go into like the biggest fight of his career um, and not, I guess, have a quote unquote tune up or anything like that. And I guess that's what Uskategi was co going to, you know, pretty much essentially be um, like how comfortable were you with just saying, yeah, you know, you probably were going to get the win against Uskategi, but you're just like, yo, I could get this Caleb Plant fight now, man. Forget Uskategi. Let me just get this fight right now. So it, it wasn't really it wasn't really as a tuna fight. It was just a fight that I was going to get because I couldn't get nobody else. You know? But I've kind of felt like all these fights I've been having these past five fights have been tuna fights, you know, so I'm basically ready. You know, that's why I said when they gave me that they told me that we can make this fight happen. You know, Al Heyman actually called me, told me, do you want to fight with Uskateki? Do you want to go right into the Caleb Plant fight? I'm like, it's a no brainer. I want to go right into the, the Caleb Plant fight. Now, you know, I've been training. I've been training for a while already, man. Um, I only took like a month off my last fight. So, I mean, I've been really busy this whole time. Um, my training camp hasn't even started, but I'm fucking doing, you know, eight rounds of sparring, running five miles a day. So, you know, I'm, I'm very comfortable right now. So, I feel like my body's already prepared to do a, a extremely hard training camp. And that's what I'm going to do. Once I get into this training camp, I'm going to push, push, push. And, you know, we're definitely going to give some great results on whenever the fight happens. So I'm going to be more than ready. You know, this is something I've been waiting for my whole life. You know, my first pay-per-view fight, you know, it was a very big deal for me. So um, coming into this camp, you know, I feel great. I, re I feel like I'm ready for a fight already, but, you know, I haven't even done my training camp yet. So I, I think this is just my body just being excited and me being there uh, mentally and physically. You know, I'm ready. I'm ready for anything that comes.